Precious Sprite to get me back into podcasting. <laughs> the sensation is sensational. Very sensational taste. The lemon lime combined with electrocuting electrolytes just gets me back. Keeping me hydrated while I pot. Nothing like a cool, refreshing bottle of 200 gallons. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Rondo Show Podcast, episode 109. We almost at 120. I mean, I could poke the bear finally. <laughs> when we get to 120, I'm moving out, y'all. I'm moving out to a new studio. We getting a new studio episode 120. <laughs> new studio, folks. Better video. Better uh, lamp. Uh. <laughs> I tried to uh, pie without getting abused like the last episode. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. It's dangerous. See, real niggas know. But if I wanted to be shysty. I could pop when you wasn't around. You know I, mean? I be trying to be polite, you know what I mean? And I try to stay out of trouble that way, you know? Say all the shit to your face. So that way later, when you hear it, you don't think, man, this nigga was just telling me how he really felt about me behind my back. Thing is, though, when you hear, I don't tell you how I really felt. I just try to be polite, you know? I try to show you like me. Y'all would know how I really feel about this. Um, one day, one day I'll be free on this podcast to talk about how I really feel. When we get the new studio. So y'all need to count down with me to episode 120. We're getting a new studio. <laughs> new everything. <laughs> Coming outside, it's hot. What is it with this weather, man? It's been cold enough to snow, no snow. Now it's just pure. Like what temperature is it now? Hello. Where's my phone, man? my Where we used to be, it's 21 degrees right now. It would be 21 degrees right now. It's Why is Escondido like that that far? It looks like on the map. Um, it's 53 degrees. It's actually warmer here. What's the temperature in Europe? Let's see, London. What's the temperature? What's the rocking like? I 
They gotta try to tell me, like, what's going on? They only gonna let me care about what? Buy my business, huh? Let me add some more places, maybe. If you're in Europe listening to this, shout out to you. On a nice Berlin morning. Sitting there listening to the Rondo Show podcast. Who, who, how'd you find it? Especially in Germany. Algorithms are something I just will never understand, I guess. I think it's moments like this, though, that transcend and make sense over there. They hear the birds. And I think it's also like those episodes when we were in California. Me and that guy. That was like a movie for folks. People loved it. Those are some of the top episodes. Numbers say otherwise. But for me, it was video. It was everything together. So that's what I count mostly. The success of the whole machine. Mm-hmm. But shout out to Germany. Berlin. Brazil. I wonder what the temperature is like in Brazil. The weather. Around this time of year. Does it really get that cold there? It might. Most places where it's a lot of desert, it gets pretty... Is it desert in Brazil? It gets pretty fucking hot during the day and cold at night. Is it more of a tropic type of vibe? I'm not sure. This is this is how ignorant I am, man. I think so. I'm an American, North American, shall I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a North American. Man. My phone don't even show me what the weather's like nowhere else, so now I, I can find it. But yeah. The countdown begins. <laughs> Do you take the jokes I make on this show seriously? No. I would hope not. I would hope you would understand the context. Like I said, hope. With that being said, top th- um, top five things I need to change this year. Can't be too general either. I was gonna say health, number one. But more specifically, I already said, slow down on that beer consumption. Yeah. The tobacco. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, that's its own thing, huh? <laughs> I think I need to admit it, huh? I'm addicted. Am I addicted to tobacco? Shout out to all the nicotine addicted folks out there, man. Shout out to you, man. I know what you're going through. difference is I have kids I don't smoke around them but and I don't smoke cigarettes so. yeah. but still two gotta do what the lady said on divorce court I need to go to anger management now. I don't even think it's anger management. It's emotional management. When you don't know what to do with your emotions, it becomes anger. It becomes frustrating. 
It's a black man. Here I go. I feel like it's a black man. Here's in many ways I'm um, presented, let's shall I say. Or let me say this. I feel like there are ways presented, but there's just this innate kind of frustration that you have with life in general just for the hand that you feel like you've been dealt overall just upsets you you know this isn't an excuse for street violence domestic for gaslighting victim blaming misogyny you know toxic masculinity this isn't an excuse for any of that but it definitely definitely is an explanation for a lot of the anger you may see from black men I work with a lot of Caucasian people and there's a lot of tendencies that I one things I notice where I feel like they may want me or expect me to be a certain way and I noticed that they don't get where it comes from. That's not the part that they really even have the wherewithal, the, 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 what is it, the empathy. I don't know. I don't want to make it seem like everybody's evil. But it's just not, it's not even like a, a, on their radar. Like it's not in them to, to look past the surface. You know, where they're from, they're taught to deal with things differently. And also, what they're managing at younger ages is, is different. I'm not going to say it's one is worse and one is not. I'll just say it's different. It's the same goes for you in Berlin, you in Germany, you in Brazil. What you go through and what you deal with as a child or even as an adult it's way different from what I deal with here in America most other countries everybody that you see is from that country here everybody's together everyone bunch of different cultures and it's almost like before we even had a chance to build up our own thing After our Armageddon, after the bombs and all the infiltration and the burning of boats, black wealth plummets. I think we're not going to be angry at somebody or people around us that are prospering in different ways it's not fair but nothing's really fair yeah <sighs> such a dark podcast huh? no. if somebody's on the bridge they'd probably jump by now I'm like whoa 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 he's out of here damn Tried to save him. What do you think about Absol trying to kill himself? Never thought I'd see the day, huh? Life is life is different, man. Most of the artists that I thought were were above a lot of things was the exact opposite, man. And that's another thing I learned last year and the year before that and the year before that. It's like a lot of people that you think are one way are totally different because of and it takes a situation like a pandemic or like depression or certain things that people deal with that they may say they don't deal with or they may present this life as if they're above it or they know better or they're different and they're struggling with the exact same thing in a way that you maybe you not even dealing with it
So you killed yourself, huh? Or you tried to kill yourself. Did you listen to your own songs? Because <laughs> I know you had people tell you that your songs stopped them from doing that. What about that guy? It's one of the main things I, I used to talk about on here. Is that nobody really cares about the artists that they say they like. You don't really care. You care, but you don't. You care as, no, uh, as much as you feel like you have to to keep getting what you get from them. Mm-hmm. Beyond that, once it once once that comes under attack, like the possibility of whatever music or movies or content if that comes threatened, you might show a little care. But beyond that, when every when it, when everybody supposedly is supposed to be good. Like, that's how you think in your mind. It's like, man, that's so-and-so. That's, they good. Like, they straight. Like, ain't no way they dealing with this house. Ain't no way, you know what I mean? They could possibly. This is the Messiah. He the prophet. The goat, the God, the legend. No way. What could he be dealing with? How does he not know how to to, to push through? That's a hell of a pressure to put on somebody. That's like making someone immortal when they're still mortal, when they still have to be a person. Uh, this is what they say we sign up for. We, we, we take, we, you get paid to, to be unreal. Everything about everything is unreal. Everybody's rapping, saying, I'm out of space. You know, I'm not on this planet. Everything is over the top. Every poster is ginormous. You want this person to seem so much bigger than they are. (sighs) That when they need to be, like, cared for as a regular person, it's damn near impossible. Doesn't even seem natural to see them that way. Doesn't feel genuine. That's a good question. What is that person to do? Kendrick knows. He said, deuces. <laughs> then he saw it, he, before he left, he said, uh, bitch, you ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is, R- is Rihanna still with ASAP a- Rocky? I think so. Wow. Wow. I know people were taking bets when that was going in. A lot of people in ASAP Rocky's crew in the beginning had, you know, it was a falling out. They had like a little bit of inner beef. Not even crew. Just crew wise, it's like just in general, because like New York is heavy against on that, heavy on the homophobia, you know what I mean? Yeah. And ASAP Rocky is kind of like calling himself pretty and shit. You know, with the, with the, you know, perm and shit, braids and borets. It's just weird. Like on the East Coast, that makes you gay, but on the West Coast, that makes you Snoop Dogg. That's the other thing about Snoop Dogg. He was heavy on the violence and he was heavy on the, like, fashion, but it wasn't fashion. So it was like either he was looking like a pimp or he was looking like a fucking goon. So it was like, <laughs> it's not like A$AP Rocky where he's actually wearing, like, French pieces and shit. And everything he has is, like, designer and he's, like, saying, instead of he saying I'm wearing this, he's saying I'm draped in this. You draped in something? You fucking... <laughs> Yo, bro, <laughs> pause, man. Pause. I don't even know why I brought that up. Oh yeah, that relationship. Yeah, a lot of people probably thought, yeah, he gay. He, you know, maybe he can get in the door with Rihanna. You know, but keeping her, you gotta be a man to do that. Guess he's a man, huh? Holding it down. 
shooting the club up too, ain't he? Yeah, he did better than Drake. <laughs> That's the thing, though. It did he do better than Drake? Cause Drake has been like the first at first base everywhere. Like he's like his footprint is on the base when people pass in base, like score home home run. He tried it, but he been lapped it. I don't know. Some would say like you gotta weaken like stars like that. You gotta like hit them with a Drake first. Now she kind of dizzy. Now she vulnerable for ASAP. <laughs> Some people need a little Chris Brown on top of them oh. before you know what I mean. <laughs> before they'll date a certain person. I I mean, sometimes it's just the image, is how it looks, how it reads to me. Yeah. It's like, oh, this person wouldn't date this person until this person dated this person, and that person. That it's rare you see some of these relationships with the same person and they already hit him first. It's like, why are you dating her? Didn't she just date him? It was almost like he legitimized it. He's like breaking down the door for, <laughs> for the rest of us, you know what I mean? Think about how many black dicks Kim had to have to give Ray J a shot. And then how many she had to give you know what I mean? It's just like levels to it. It's like, it don't start that way. Because if it was started that way, how it ended, it started that way. It didn't start that way. It never starts that way. However, it quote unquote ends. He said Rocky was around. She didn't want that nigga. Maybe she did. Who knows? It's just like, if that's your type the whole time, you mean you couldn't, you couldn't find that? Look who you was messing with. That is not your... That was, that's a totally different nigga. This is like a lot of this shit. I was just be like, man, this is, this is a story. And who knows how it's going to end. <laughs> <laughs> this is a story. Who knows how it's going to end, man. It's none of my business. I'm not here to gossip. You just got to know your friends, right? Yeah, know your friends, ladies. Know your friends. Who brought that up? Was it the divorce court episode where he was like, her friend tried to get at me, you know what I mean? Was it her friend or her aunt? It was her aunt, but I heard friend. Oh, maybe it was both. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> that's like next level bullshit. I ain't, <laughs> that's crazy. But, like, the friend is like, come on, bro. You got to know better. That's your friend. You're supposed to know her before you bring her around me. Don't put that on me. You don't know your friend? That ain't your friend. And then don't let the nigga tell the girl. I told you. That's not your friend. You fought tooth and nail. You don't know this bitch like I do. I don't like the bitch. She my friend. You think I'm gonna? I know her before you. She was here first. All this shit. She was here first. All right. Any second. <laughs> she headed in after you. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's fucked up. Lucky you ain't had no aunt to the families like that. That's fucked up. A girl got an aunt that'll fuck her man. You gotta watch your family. You gotta watch around your aunt. This is the last bitch you would think. Sister, maybe. Some of these grandmas be wilding. <laughs> you know the new age of a grandma? Right. My age. <laughs> right. It's some grandmas my age right now. Bad as hell. Still out here single. Single grandma. How <laughs> you grandma? You single. But your kids have kids. <laughs> I remember when it was a generation you couldn't find a grandma that wasn't married. <laughs> then they just started slowly getting singular and singular. Where are these old bitches with no niggas come from? Grandma got divorced at 60, said, I'm done. I'm out. So my wild oak. She's still on the market though, like that's some whew. It's like buying an old piece of fruit. <laughs> Talking about old. 
You want that dry grapefruit, man? Come on, brother. He ain't got much going for him either. He got two baby red potatoes. <laughs> and a kiwi full of meat. <laughs> he can't even do much anyway. They just looking for, they cuddle and, and, and fall asleep at this point. It's like two dry sticks rubbing together. But it's all good. I'm here for old love too. Shout out to YouTube. <laughs> old love. Shout out to Sprite too. <laughs> Hold on. Nothing like a cool, refreshing Sprite. <laughs> What's so fucking funny, man? Can I get the ad done? How's they gonna pay me? You need to know I can do it. He's like, Ronnie, show your work. Motherfucking police officer fell asleep in the car. <laughs> Woke up, motherfucking kid. Driving the motherfucking police car. <laughs> he trying to get the car back for the kid. Try to get her mad. To get her to get out the car. What is white excellence? It's just whiteness, right? I don't know. Is that just my insecure black man? White excellence is. If I ask the Muslim, he'd be like, that's hatred of the black man. Death and destruction is the excellence of a white man. White man can never amount to anything but destruction, brother. Ah, oh, man. Know your friends, ladies. Hmm. What else is there to get to? Story time. So what? Two? You a fat fucking cat. Episode two. Story time coming soon. Said that every episode, but it's coming. Shout out to the video game viewers. We're finna get on that tonight. We'll be right back with you in episode 110. <laughs> I knew I was going to say it wrong. <laughs> episode 110. Um, yeah. Rondo Show Podcast, episode 109. Right here. That's what this one is. Guess there's nothing else to say. Love y'all. Support. Thank y'all. Check out the website. Check out the other shows. Subscribe to Rondo the Kid on YouTube. R O N D O. R O N D O. T H A. K I I D. Rondo. Out.